Hi kids, it's Pimmy. I hope you're ready to color today because I know I am. And for me, I'm gonna color some Disney princesses. What are you gonna color? Do you have your paper ready? Because we only color on paper. And are you gonna color with some crayons? Maybe some markers? Maybe you use colored pencils like me, or you like to use chalk. You can use whatever one you like, and you can color whatever pictures you want to color too. Let's get started. Today we have Rapunzel, and she has a paintbrush because she's doing some colors too. And here at the bottom, it says, Rapunzel adds a little color. I think today I'm going to start with Rapunzel's hair. And Rapunzel's hair is blonde. So I'm going to use my yellow pencil. But I don't want to use it very dark because if I make it too dark, her hair will not look blonde. It'll look yellow. And I'm not trying to make her hair look yellow. That would be crazy. Imagine if your hair was as bright as the sun. That's why I don't want to be too much with my yellow. So I'm just being gentle, like always, and staying in my lines, and just not going over her hair a whole lot to make the color darker. If you're gentle with your colors, you're able to use them more and get more types of colors out of just one single color. We'll even make the paint on Rapunzel's paintbrush bright yellow. That way we can see the difference between how I make her hair blonde just being gentle and not doing a lot of passing over her colors and making the yellow darker and how dark and bright it gets when I use it lots of times to make the yellow on the paintbrush very bright. But I don't want to color in the rest of the picture yellow, so I'm gonna be as careful as I can to only color Rapunzel's hair and to be gentle enough that her hair is blonde and not very bright yellow colors. Now we'll make Rapunzel's paintbrush yellow here at the tip. Now like that, see how that's like her hair and it looks blonde? Now watch when I go over it a few more times and make it very yellow. I don't press it hard, I'm still using my pencil very gentle. I'm just coloring the same spots lots of times and it's going to make this part of the paintbrush very yellow. Let's take a look. See her paintbrush? It has a brighter yellow than her hair does because her hair shouldn't be quite as yellow. So if I'm gentle and I don't use the pencil a whole lot, it won't look that bright. It'll look like this. And I bet you can do the same thing if you practice using your colors very gentle. That way you don't break your colors and you can keep on coloring. 
Now let's count our color. We used one yellow. Y E L L O W. Yellow. And that's our first color. We've only used one color so far today. I think next I'll use this peach color to color in Rapunzel's skin. I'm going to start with her feet at the bottom. But I do not want her dress to be this color, so I have to stay inside my lines and be very careful. And if it's tricky to stay inside the lines, what we can do is slow down. If we go slower with our colors, we make less mistakes. We can also go around the edges like I am right now, and then you color from edge to edge instead of line to line. And that gives you extra space and makes it even easier for you to stay inside your lines that way. How many fingers does Rapunzel have on her hands? Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five. Five fingers on her right hand on the left hand side of our page. One, two, three, four, five. Five fingers on Rapunzel's left hand on the right hand side of our page. Now we're going to color in her face, but her lips and her eyes should not be the same color as her skin, so we have to be careful about our lines. And her eyebrows should be the same color as her hair. I forgot to color in her eyebrows, so I'm going to do that right now. Since I put my colors to the side when I'm done, so that I can do things like this. When I forget a color, I can pick up the same one I used before and not just a similar color that looks different. And then when I'm done, I can put them all away over here where they belong. But now we're done with all this. One peach color. P E A C H. Peach, just like the fruit. And yellow was our first color. One color. Plus our one peach color means that we are going to use one yellow color and then we need to count up because plus signs mean we count up one more color because we used our peach color so we count from one up one more number is one two so one plus one equals two and peach is our second color. We've used two colors now. Now I'm going to use my white color. And I'm going to use white on the edge of Rapunzel's dress, right here at the bottom. What else should be white in the picture? Do you know? I know. Her eyes. 
she has black pupils and then after her pupils is her iris which is the part that has the color and that should be green and then you have your eyeball on the outside and if we look in the mirror we can see that that part of our eyes is also white too so now we've used one white color w h i t e white peach was our second color two plus one white color means that we're going to count up one number from two again so let's count one two three two plus one equals three so white is our third color we've used three colors now and now I think I want to use a color this color we'll use this one or maybe this one I think I should use both of these colors let's start with this color this color is called mulberry mulberries are a fruit just like peach is also named after a fruit that resembles the same color so this color is what's close to the fruit like mulberries are and what this color is is a little bit like a purple color that almost looks like it has some pink in it how do you make a purple color You mix together blue and red to make purple colors and if you add more red your purple color will be have a more red hue to it so when you look at it you'll see more red in the purple than you will blue and if you make pink you mix together red and white so to make this color when they made a purple they probably added in more red to it to make the purple more red and then maybe they added some white to that purple color so that it has just a little bit of pink in there as well and by adding in those three colors red blue and white in just the right amount they made mulberry and I think it looks like a pretty good color a color that I think that Rapunzel would definitely wear I'm going to make her sleeve that color and I'm going to make those lines in her shoulder that color so that it's going to be the pink color and the purple color pink color purple color and since it alternates like that with pink and purple pink and purple over and over again that's called a pattern now I'm done with my one purple color that's a mulberry 
So let's spell Mulberry instead. M U L B E R R Y Mulberry. White was our third color. Three. Then we need to count up or add one mulberry color is one, two, three, four. Three plus one equals four. And mulberry is our fourth number. We've used four colors now. And I think I need my white one again because I'm going to color in these strings on Rapunzel's shirt white. Just like this. And I'm gonna do the same little frills she has on her dress sleeves the same way we did at the bottom of her dress down there. And then we'll do these ones up here on her neck too. Just like that. Then I said I wanted this pink color. This pink color has more red in it than white. So instead of being a very soft, light pink color, it's more bright. Because the more white you add to the color, the more light that it gets, and the harder it is to see. There we go. We used one pink color. P I N K. Pink. See how the mulberry looks a little more purple next to that color now? That's because they had some blue in there, but not a whole lot, I don't think. And mulberry was our fourth color. Four. Plus our one pink color equals one, two, three, four, five. Four plus one equals five. So pink is our fifth color. We've used five colors now. Now I'm going to use a green color. Today I think I want this green color. And I'm going to use this one on Rapunzel's eyes. In the iris. And that's a circle shape. How it's round like a ball. And then... I'm going to give Rapunzel's room a green floor. But we don't want to make Rapunzel's dress or hair green. We already colored those in. So let's be very careful about staying inside our lines and I'm not gonna go to the edge of my paper today I'm just going to go close to it because this one 
has the edges of the picture cut off, so I'm not going to go to the edges of my page either. We could go to the edges and just pretend that that's where these lines go. Or we can just not go to the edges and we can make our own border by coloring in how we choose to. We could color in a perfect square around it or we could make it a little round into an egg shape and shapes like eggs are called ovals and if we just went around the edges where they cut it all off here and here just that far from the outside all the way around that would be a rectangle so we can choose to do our own shapes to figure out how we want to do our borders we can do the rectangle or we could make it an oval and I'm making mine an oval I just need some yellow because I went past her hair with my green so I need to pretend where her hair comes this way and then back in to do its swirl just like that And that'll be the edges of that part for my green color. My one green color. G R E E N. And let's make this handle on her paintbrush green too. Just because we can. And our pink color was our fifth color. Five colors. Plus our one green color, so one more than five equals one, two, three, four, five, six. Five plus one equals six. Green is our sixth color. We used six colors today now. And I think we'll use this brown color to do this part of her brush and this part of her brush. Like that. And that'll be all for our one brown color. B R O W N. Brown. Green was our sixth color. Six. Plus our one brown color equals one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Six plus one equals seven. Brown is our seventh color. We've used seven colors now. And I think next, I'll use this blue color. And I'm going to use this blue color for the rest of her wall in the background. First, I'm going to go around my edges and finish my oval shape so I know where to stop when I'm coloring in this wall behind her. Be careful or I might make Rapunzel blue by accident. And if I color her paintbrush blue by accident, she's not going to be coloring with yellow anymore. 
she'll be coloring with green. Because if we mix blue and yellow together, we make a green color. And the more blue we add, the darker the green gets. So at the bottom of our page, where they made their green color, they must have used more yellow than blue to make that shade of green. And we don't want to make Rapunzel's hair green either. So we have to keep on being careful about our lines. And if we mix it with her dress that's that mulberry color, it'll look more purple than pink now. Because when we add blue to that purplish color, it'll look more purple and less pink. That's all for our one blue color. B L U E blue. Brown was our seventh color. Seven plus our one blue color equals one two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Seven plus one equals eight. Blue is our eighth color, and that's our last one. So today we used eight colors C O L O R. S. Now, we're all done! I hope you had as much fun coloring in our Rapunzel today as I did. Today, we used eight colors coloring in Rapunzel and her very long hair she has. And we talked a lot about how to make new colors by mixing them together, too. Now remember, we have to be careful when we mix our colors. And we always color on paper because that's where the colors belong. And when we're done, we have to put our colors away or we won't be able to find them next time we want to color. So make sure you're putting them away and only coloring on paper. Until next time, bye bye! Thank you for tuning in. Please like and subscribe down below.